Chris Chinook here for uh, Insight Media. I'm in the Porotech booth here in the iZone at Display Week uh, 2022. Uh, they have a, actually a very important development for the micro LED space. Uh, so they have a, a, a wafer, uh, a gallium nitride wafer that can be uh, for an, any individual pixel on this gallium nitride wafer can have its wavelength output change from blue to green to red uh, and in fact any color in between here as you can see the, and this is the demo that they're showing they can change the color uh, just by driving the current differently um, so uh, getting all three colors in a micro LED display is always uh, uh, a, a problem so you can do with color conversion and quantum dots um, or you can do it with three individual uh, just for uh, wafer donors uh, but those all have problems. It would be nice if you could have RGB on a single wafer, uh, including gallium nitride. So you have one material system, one consistent driving uh, solution. Uh, so they have actually solved this problem. Um, so the question is, uh, well, well, there's two things here. Uh, one, it's a material uh, uh, solution where they have this uh, layer that they can do some uh, stress reduction on the gallium nitride on uh, on silicon wafer. Uh, they can then dope it with uh, heavily with indium so they can get all the way out to the red. Uh, and then the way you can get the different wavelengths is you drive each pixel with different uh, current amplitude. So one current will give you blue from the pixel, a, a heavier current will give you green, and an even stronger current will give you red. Uh, that's great, but then how do you get uh, grayscale, well, you just do pulse width modulation. So this would require a custom designed uh, silicon backplane to be able to do those uh, those two features. Uh, but the advantages of doing this is, is actually pretty tremendous. Um, still lots of questions that would have to be answered about reliability and heat and many other questions. Uh, 